Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. So today Honda teased us with a picture of the new uh, Honda Civic hatchback. Uh, so it's just one image that they uh, showed uh, from the rear. Uh, looks pretty good though. It would actually be the first time uh, that Honda uh, have released a Civic hatchback in the US since 2005. Uh, so it's been about 11 years since they've had one. Uh, so take a look at the picture. I put it up just here for you to take a, uh, a quick look at. And then the actual full vehicle is going to be released at Geneva uh, next month. So not too long for us to have to wait on that. I think the one that people are, are really going to be wanting and waiting to see is the uh, Civic Type R. Uh, which is actually going to be on sale uh, next year. So 2017 is a 2018 model. So not too long to wait on that. But it's more of a, uh, more of a lift back design. Uh, than the actual hatchback. Um, it's seen testing on Nürburgring not too long back. Um, but, but still, uh, I think this hatch looks looks okay. It's not too bad. Really waiting to see what it's going to be like in Geneva though before getting too excited. Also, uh, Cadillac, they have the XT5 uh, coming out. Uh, it's going to be launched in April, uh, available in April. Uh, it really replaces the uh, old uh, SRX. It is, uh, is what is really taking over so it's a one size down from your Escalade so it's going to begin at $39,990 and if you fully load it out to the max you're looking at 63 545 so uh, quite a big difference there um, and quite a bit more than the maxed out SRX uh, but they haven't really shown any comparison in terms of equipment level so hard to really say uh, but it looks really sweet, you know, I've actually been a big fan of the uh, recent Cadillacs, you know, the ATS and the CTS the past few years, I think they look great, even the ELR, uh, which unfortunately was let down by uh, a very high price tag for that powertrain, but um, overall I think Cadillacs look great, and I think this one, the XT5, has really followed suit with that, I think it looks fantastic, I'd, I'd be very uh, interested in checking one of those out pretty soon. Now it comes with a new uh, 3.6 V6 uh, power power unit, so 310 horsepower, not too bad. 270 foot-pound torque, not too bad. Uh, so overall, uh, fairly decent when it comes to power. Uh, also, the uh, Q unit, the CUE, the Cadillac uh, Entertainment thing uh, that I forgot the name of because I've tried to just forget it out of my mind. It's really that bad. However, uh, it's been updated. It now has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on there. So, interested to see what that's going to be. If it's anything better than the old one, but uh, the old Cube was terrible. Uh, if any of you have ever used it, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, and uh, just really looking forward to, to seeing how that will do. I think the all-wheel drive one will probably uh, do a little bit better. Um, however, that is an option. So it's going to be. Uh, front wheel drive standard it's only really the top of the line model uh, which is going to get all wheel drive as standard uh, also today tesla announced their earnings uh, they delivered uh, over i think it's like 76 percent more vehicles last year uh, especially in the fourth quarter they did exceptionally well um, however uh, i don't think it was as good as the analysts were hoping for everything on the stock market has kind of fallen down um, recently um, as of this afternoon so uh, they didn't seem like they did too good there, but they netted the $1.75 billion, uh, which isn't too bad. Really though, the only thing I cared about in that earnings call was the Model 3 information. So they have set a solid date. They're going to show something to do with the Model 3 on March 31st. Uh, so just about, just under two months uh, to go. But at least we now have a date of when to expect to see something. If you've seen one of my previous videos, you'll know that something could be anything. We, we really don't know what yet. Um, it's most likely though to be an exterior picture of what the car is meant to be like. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, hope you're having a great day. Drive safe and be happy.